Why would you do that? To bring back up your cousin? What do you two want here? Well, we just thought we'd come by and pay our respects. You? Not to the deceased. To the survivor. Trying to run out of me, girls? Is that what's going on here? Oh, we, we just, we thought you'd gone and left us here. We thought you weren't coming back. I thought you learned your lessons. I trusted you. You didn't trust us. You, you had us tied shut up. Shut up! Well, all, all she meant was that, that we I were... said shut up! You tried to escape. I warned you. It was Julia's idea. She, she panicked. It's both of us. We both did it, and we, we know it was wrong, and we're sorry. Really. Please, it was, it was a mistake. We, we are so, so sorry. I warned you. I thought I'd gotten through to you two. Please. Please. Where, where have you been? <sighs> where have I been? I went to the memorial service that the town provided for my death. You know, you should have been there. You really should have. It was lovely. The outpouring of the grief and the thousands of people that showed up, it was absolutely lovely. Follow my lead. The world turns. David, I don't feel so good. You already tried that. No, I'm not kidding. I, ju I, ju I just haven't eaten since, since we got here. I'm starving, you know? And, I mean, aren't you hungry? Mm -hmm. we, we all must be really hungry, right? Now, life is real tough, Carly. Yeah, tell me about it, David. Look. Why don't you just let me make us something to eat? I won't try anything. I, I just we all need to eat, you know, to keep our strength up. Especially me being pregnant and all, you know. Oh my goodness, the thought of you as a mother, what a joke. Let's not go there, David. I'm just gonna I'm gonna check what's in the refrigerator. Freeze! One more step and I will blow your head off. No, Back no, up right now! Anything. Okay. She's she's not gonna try anything, okay? Can you cook? Me? Yes, you. Who do you think I'm talking to? Yeah, yes, of course. Yes. I can too. Well, great. Okay. Because you can you can help me make something to eat then. Yeah. Okay, because I'm sure that Emma's got lots of stuff in the pantry. All right. <laughs> Good, because you know, I'm sure that we'll all feel a lot better once we've eaten something. Do it. his last meal. Survivor? What survivor? You. Who else? I've got something of yours. What's that? Cigar band. The best. Havana. You never did stop smoking these, did you? You want to know where I found it? Where was that? You dropped it outside Lily's place in Chicago. You follow Lucinda there, and you know where she is, don't you? So Lily's in Chicago? No, not anymore. Because I moved her to a new place, and if you are thinking about carrying out David's threats, you can I have no interest in your wife, Holden. I have lost my son, and my thoughts are with him. Oh, I don't know about that. You've had plenty of time to think about other things, too, haven't you? Like the Andersons? Yes, I was hoping that by now the Oakdale police, the finest, would have arrested them for the murder of my son. Well, you know damn well we're not going to find them. They've disappeared without a trace, James. Well, if one is going to disappear, that is the way to do it, isn't it, huh? Jack Snyder, isn't that the way to do it? They've obviously skipped town to avoid arrest. Yeah, unless you got to them first. Why would I do that? The mechanic fingered them for sinking the Valletta. You blame them for David's death. I've done nothing to the Andersons. I've done nothing but warn my son and ask for justice. Justice. Seems like that's something that's very difficult for the uh, Oakdale police to deliver. 
the Andersons have obviously skipped town. They'll go right through your fingers, and they're probably by now in a country that has no extradition treaty with the United States. Samantha is a very clever con artist, you know. Yeah, not as good as you, though. I resent you two coming here and making these kind of accusations. I resent your harassment. Harassment? Yes, harassment. And you keep it up, and I'll bring out charges against you, okay? David died a very horrible death. And I'm here to mourn him, and I wish you would leave this place. Let me mourn him in peace. You are clever, son. They only knew how clever. So what are you two little cooks making? Uh, beef stew. <laughs> and it's going to be ready really soon. So um, would you maybe like um, a drink before dinner? Does Emma have any liquor in the house? Um, Emma, you know Emma, she drinks like a fish, actually. <laughs> She's just kidding. <laughs> I'll have scotch. Scotch, coming up. Um, Emma keeps the liquor. I know. Um, I lived here before. Straight up. Okie doke. Uh, gin and, um, vermouth and vodka. Ah! Here we go. Stembeck's laughing at us, man. We got nothing to link him to the Anderson's disappearance. He knows that. Something will turn up, Jack. Well, I wouldn't bet on it. Looks like he's getting away with murder again. Hey, I, I didn't mean that. You know, Sam and Kirk could be okay. We don't know what happened. Maybe they did skip town, Jack. They were in a lot of trouble. That's true. Anyway, I don't have to worry about Steinbeck getting to Lily. I moved her to a new place outside Chicago. I moved her there last night. Good. You want something? No, you know, I'm going to head to the station. You know, Jack, you're not going to find anything on Steinbeck tonight. Why don't you just go and rebook that hotel in Chicago? Go call Julia. No, I don't want to call Julia. Come on, just call no, her. I said I don't want to call her. Back off, okay? We're not going to Chicago. Something happened to you guys again? <sighs> yeah. I didn't call it off because of work. She doesn't want to go. Why'd she change her mind? Carly paid her a visit, did a real number on her. I thought Julia was on the car. Yeah, well, Carly pulled out all the stops this time. She said that once she divorces Hal, she's gonna snap her fingers and I'll come running. Yeah, will you, if she does divorce Hal? No, man, I told you. But obviously, Julia believes her. At least, she's thinking about well, it. Jack, that's why you gotta go over to the farm and talk to Julia. I talked to her. It didn't do any good. All right. How about I go over and talk to her no, for you? I don't need you fighting my battles for me. Do. Thank I, you I very much. I think you do need me to do this. Okay, wait. I, I thought you were gonna go see Lily tonight. I will, but uh, she would want me to take care of this for you first. It won't do any good. We'll see. No, hold him. Don't, hey, man. come on. Get off me. Just let, get out of my way. Just let me go over to the farm and talk to her, Jack. Maybe I can get through to her. This is going to be the best beef stew you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> sure smells good. This is banana bread. It is terrific. It's Emma Snyder's recipe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is actually pretty good scotch, too. You ladies care to join me? Uh, no, thanks. I, you know, the baby and all. Can't. I could use one. <laughs> <laughs> you look it. Why are you so tense? Uh, it's, it's the gun. Having, having the gun on, on us. Get over it! This little baby, it's not going anywhere, and neither are you. Mm -hmm. So, David, how about that uh, memorial service? The memorial service? Nice, thank you for asking. Um, let's see, Molly was there, my dad was there, and uh, that was it. Oh. Yeah, well, I, uh, I thought that, that Molly would be there. Um, how did she look, anyway? How did she look? Yeah. You want to know what Molly was wearing to my funeral, you shallow little two-time... What, what is the matter with no, you? No, 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 I, I just meant how was she holding up, you know, because I know that she'd be upset because she thinks that you're dead. And she really loved you. David, she still loves you. Is she, uh, is she on your list? Who? Molly? Yeah, Molly. I'm gonna have to think about that one. 
After I take care of Lily and I get back at Lucinda and Hogarth, yeah. It's a whole thing. Then I'll have to decide about your, your lovely cousin Molly, right? You know, though, Carly, she's a little different from you. She has a little more of a, um, what do they call it? Humanity. That's it. There better be potatoes in the damn stew. Yep, plenty of potatoes. Not all sorts of good stuff. Any turnips? Are there any turnips in the stew? Answer me. Thank you. Uh, do you like turnips, David? No. Thank you for asking. I don't like turnips. Don't like them at all. Had plenty growing up with my loving, adopted family, the Allen. So, no turnips, thanks. Not to worry. Good. There are no turnips in this stew. No. I'm with you, David. I don't like turnips either. That's fascinating, Julia. It really is. You know something? You're really starting to annoy me. I think I've had it with you. I think I've had it with both of you. Julia, how's that the bread coming? It's great. It's, it's Emma's recipe. Yeah, yeah. You've said that already. I don't know how many times. It's Emma's recipe. I got that, all right? Make the damn meal. Finish it. I'm starving. Okay. It's okay. Get rid of those bay leaves. <laughs> How do you plan on getting that out of here? What are you two whispering about? Nothing. You talking about me? No. No, no we're, we're just we're talking about this bread. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh. What's the matter with you? You two are the stupidest, sloppiest cooks I've ever seen. What do you got there? You got something behind your back? What do you got? Yeah, show me what you got. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. No. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Okay. To pop this right in the oven. Hey, David, why don't you sit down and relax and just let us do this, okay? So get out of our hair, okay? Now, when is that gonna happen, huh? Anytime this year? Yeah. It's actually, it's actually ready right now. And it's, it smells great. It's gonna be great. It's to die for. Great. Let's, let's dig in, right? Yeah. Okay, David, this is. This is your place, right here. Oh. Right? Yes. You, me. Okay. Better be good. It took long enough. It's gonna be great. Sit down. Try it first. Come on, Julia, you try it first. Make sure Carly's got that seasoning just right. I, I know she does. Then try it. All good chefs do, right? You wouldn't want to disappoint me now, would you? No. Then do it. Um, actually, I, I can't. I'm, uh, I'm allergic to tomatoes. You're allergic to tomatoes. Yeah, I know. Make me break out. Really? Oh, you know, my goodness, what a coincidence. Me too. Same thing happens to me. So I guess Carly's the only one that can have this. You know, um, I think I'm just gonna have some later because I, I, I'm not so hungry right now. You just told me you were starving, though, Carly. What's up? Yeah, well, you know, being pregnant and all, Except, you know, that, that just kind of comes and goes, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's really tough, isn't it? I think it'll come back to you, though. Why don't you go ahead and try it? I think you're gonna eat all of it, every single bite. You made it. You deserve it. Someone's coming. Get Go. Whoever it is, you get rid of him right now. Go! Hold him. Hey, Hi. hope this isn't a bad time. Uh, Actually, I really need to talk. Yeah, that this really isn't a good time. It won't take long. Okay, uh... What are you baking? Uh, Banana bread? Yeah, it's Emma's recipe. Oh, it's good. Uh, yeah, it's just time to get it out of the oven here. Oh, my wife, she really loves that stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, what happened here? Uh, I spilled some flour. Oh, it's like a bomb went off here. I'll tell you what, I'll get the vacuum cleaner. It's right over no, here. No, hold, hold me, it's okay, Joe. 
Hold on, don't. It's, it's okay. I'll just, um, I'll get the vacuum later, okay? Julia, what's the matter? You're, you're really upset about Jack. Uh, that would be my guess. Uh, well, he, have you talked to him? Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's why I came. He, he's pretty upset about everything that happened himself. He really wanted you guys to go to Chicago and be together and just get away from all this, you know? Well, I'm really sorry about that. Well, he's sorry that Carly upset you. And I talked to him, and I can tell you, he really is over Carly. Okay, look, hold on. I, I can't talk about look, this right I, now. Okay? I know what Jack is up against, mm -hmm. okay? I, I've been there with Carly's cousin, Molly. And yeah, Carly's just I, I like Molly. She will say anything. Holden, she will just... do anything. Mm -hmm. But you have to just ignore that. You know Jack. You know how you feel about him. Trust in that. And trust him. He knows that you're the best thing that ever happened to him. Okay, well, hold on. Look, I, I'm going to think about everything well, that look, you I have I tell you said. what, why don't you just give Jack a call? He's over at my place. I, I can't. Well, what do you want me to tell him? He knows that I'm over here talking to you. Just, uh, tell him... Okay, to tell him that, um, I can't go to Chicago with him, because if we went, he would take me to the racetrack again, I would bet on the prince, and Jack would lose. I, I can't put him through that again. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, okay. I, I'm so wiped out right now. You know, it's, it's, it's a bad time. Um, here, you, you, you take this, okay? Here. For Lily? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go see Lily tonight. I'll, I'll okay. give it to her. Right. Will you at least think about what I said? Sure, I'm gonna think about it, okay? So long. I'll, I'll see you later, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Good night. No, no, he, he didn't yes, say that. Yes, he, I heard him. I heard him. This is perfect. He'll lead me straight to her. Get over there. Now, beautiful. I just need to take one of you with me as a shield. Shield? That's right. Someone could spot me. And, of course, the heroic Hogarth will be fully armed, so I need to take one of you along. And the other one won't be coming along. So you saw Julie, right? And? And you were right. She's upset. I told you, man. Carly did a real number on her. We talked, and I really don't think it did much good. She was acting very weird, Jack. I'd never seen her act like that before. Why? What'd she say? She said that she couldn't go to Chicago with you because if she did, you guys would go to the track, and she would bet on the prince, and you'd lose. What? That's what she said. The prince. She's heard from Xavier? I mean, is he after her again? No, 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 she didn't say that. Well, this doesn't make any sense, man. I... Don't tell me she's so down on me. She's thinking about going back to him again. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't think so. She's not thinking straight. She hates that guy. Where are you going? I'm going back to the farm, trying to talk some sense into her. I can't let her do this. take one of you with me, and I'm gonna leave the other one behind. Who's it gonna be? David, I don't think that you should be driving right now. Of course you don't. You don't want me to get to Lily, take right? me. I I'm thinking of the baby, you know? No, you're not. You're thinking of yourself, you selfish little... Uh, Dad, what are you doing oh, here? Wait, wait, wait. You know something? Uh, we're not going to uh, need these ladies any longer. Why so not? Let them go. Why not? I need hostages. Do you understand me, or at least one of them? All right, listen to me. I got some good news. Holden was just here, and he's going to see Lily, and I'm going to follow him there. He's going to take me straight to her, okay? And I just need one of my little lovely ladies here as a shield, that's all. Well, see, but that isn't necessary any longer. I've arranged to get you out of the country. I've got, a, I've got an airplane lined up. We're going to get you... I don't want that! I don't want that! Don't you understand? I'm getting back at Lucinda and Holden, and they're going to pay, and Lily's the price. Do you get that? Uh, um, guys... <sighs> I, I'm not feeling that well. I, I, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, don't wait, give wait, me that wait. again. David, David, she's pregnant. She's lying. No, David, just settle down. She's pregnant. You go with her. I'll watch Miss Lindsay, all right? Go with her. She's... Go ahead. You do anything stupid, your friend dies. Do you hear me? I'm not going to try anything. Look. David is coming unglued. 
He tried to shoot Carly, missed her by a few inches. Okay, okay, listen, I don't want him to hurt either one of you. Then why don't you call the police? I can't call the police. He's got a gun. Bullets start flying around here. You could get hit. Uh, she could get hit. I could get hit. You don't care anything about us. All you want to do is save him. Yes, I do want to save him. But I don't want him to hurt either one of you. All right? <laughs> now, listen, I'm going to get him to try and release both of you. But I cannot involve the police. I'm going to need your help. I've missed you. Well, I'm going to be there in a couple of hours. And guess what? I'm going to bring you a little present. What? I'll give you a hint. It's a little slice of home. <laughs> what? Julia baked Mama's banana bread. Banana bread. Oh, I want some right now. And well, so does our baby. You're both going to have to wait until I get there. I'm sorry. I'm sick of waiting. Surprise! I'm home. Whatever you want me to do, I am not going to help you. Look, I know you don't trust me, but you're going to have to. So, feeling better? Well, well uh... Shut up. She's fine. Damn it! Who is it? It's Jack Snyder. 